and motivator Speak nothing but the truth Tell them how my life was through My life was up and down That's why I'm speaking now Look at my YouTube page I'm gonna motivate you when you had them bad days Hey, 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 hey Hey, 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 hey It's your boy J. Michael with another V I D E O Hit that subscribe button That notification bell And the like button So y'all know when the real in there Go drop some and keep it real The real in there's way Hey 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 Alright this is part 3 We on Butter Pecan now And for y'all that don't know who Butter Pecan is That's the Mucker Man 2.0 Okay, <clears throat> Mucker Sucker, a.k.a. Butter Pecan. Let's talk about you and your actions, your do's and your don'ts and your mishaps. You got married to Latoya. The first mistake you made as a man was taking... How you say it? Um, I ain't gonna even say taken. Season the moment on a vulnerable woman. And before y'all get to talking crazy in the comments saying Latoya did this, Latoya did that, Latoya sneaky. Remember, this is four parts. This is part three. I'm breaking down everybody the best way I can. So this is part three about the mucker man. You took advantage of a woman that just got out of a relationship with somebody that you know play games it was a certain way because you got a baby by that person he got a baby back so you knew what kind of mental that your wife was on you knew what kind of situation your wife came out of instead of being a friend instead of being a, a ear a listening ear you had a hidden agenda to get some boo -wah. and when you got that boo -wah, you thought you had a real end to where y'all got married you should have said, we can kick it, but let's take our time before we go to the next step. Because she didn't know you, you didn't know her. But y'all know my motto. They've been knowing each other. That's just how I feel. But let's just keep it their way. They say they didn't know each other. You didn't know her. She didn't know you. Y'all got married quick. Wasn't that wrong on your part for being the man, the older man at that? You should have said, we can kick it, baby. Let's get to know each other. Let's hang for a while. Let's do what we gotta do to learn our do's and don'ts, to learn our attitude, to learn each other ways. You didn't want to do that. You reeled her and you took advantage of that. And that's what's not cool. That wasn't cool. Just like Latoya. Latoya should have had enough sense not to jump out of tugboat into a canoe. You see, she jumped out the tugboat into a canoe and found that that canoe wasn't nothing but a blow-up raft. Then when that mug, somebody punched a hole in that blow-up raft, she jumped out without her life jacket. Now, y'all going through y'all thing, you going back and forth, but at the same time, you still was messing with your, your son's mom. And then, not only messing with your son's mom, you pillow talking, about what goes on with your, your, your wife's kids, your stepkids. Come on, player. Come on, butter PK. <clears throat> let, me, let me explain something to y'all. Do I believe in love at first sight? I do. Do I believe in best friends becoming lovers and husband and wife? I do. Do I believe in you supposed to take your time to really get to know that person? I do. Do I feel... When you get married for the wrong reasons, is it going to work? No, it's not. Is it going to last? No, it's not. Because both of y'all got married for the wrong reasons. Both of y'all had a hidden agenda. And it backfired on y'all. Now y'all looking. Y'all y'all can't even call y'all as a divorce. They should have annulled that mug. Because it was it was illegal anyway to marry some bottle pecan in a, in a St. Bernard. I don't even know how they let her marry a St. Bernard. But they let, they let it go anyway. Know what I'm saying? 
fat ton. That hey, hey, if y'all pay attention to that dude talk, don't talk like I'm a savvy, I'm a savvy, I'm a double double. What was going on? But number told you, she was one but me but babble. I would give it one but her but babble. She was one but me but. I still was messing with my baby mama. I don't know, know why but she be behaving on me but labber dabble. Y'all you know what I'm saying? Fat tongue ass dude. Motherfucker. Bubble cheek ass dude. Fake ass tone, loke looking ass dude. Ha <laughs> ha! But anyway, let's get back on Trizac. But y'all know, I'm gonna keep it real. The real getting there is way. But anyway, it's for y'all. Toya, Erica, Butter Pecan, and Billy Blanks. That's the four horsemen. Like a circle. And the ring leader is Erica because she played all y'all like puppets. But the men, y'all should have been smart enough to understand. But y'all wasn't understanding that. Y'all was understanding with the man downstairs. Munker, all you seen was booty. Like I said a long time ago, when you went to that hotel room and you seen a whole nother dude name on that cake, that was your time to exit. That wasn't even your time to even try to spit no game. But you wasn't spitting game, but 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 butter pecan. He wanted some of that woo-woo. You was thinking with the head downstairs, study thinking like a man. And then it backfired because you had a baby by the fire. You know, so the baby is here for a reason because God don't make mistakes. But, when you love someone, you love them all. You love the good and the bad and their flaws. Instead of dogging your wife, pillow talking with your wife, you should have came with a mutual agreement. Let's separate for a minute and let's do what we didn't have a chance to do. And now was to get to know each other and become friends. No. You reeled that girl in. And you came out your trick bag. Your true colors came out. Your possessiveness came out. You start trying to control her because now she's your wife. And study, and study being your mate, a part of who you are, you wanted to take control. Because y'all, you two can be this high right now. All y'all had to do was keep the mucker page and blow it up and keep her Creole Bay page. And let her continue to, to, to speak knowledge to the women and give women encouragement, advice. But no, you take her page and make it your page. And then take your page and make it the kids' page. You mess up the whole flow. You, you, you try to be a leader. But you're not a leader. Use a plastic bag that blows in the air because you have no leadership qualities about yourself, man. Use a minion. Use a, use a to-go soldier. You a dummy soldier. You a lap dog. That's what you are. Because you don't know how to take control of situations. You don't know how to finesse situations. You get what I'm saying? Because ain't no way you and your wife should be getting ready to get a divorce. Ain't no way you should have been still messing with your baby mama. You were supposed to assess the situation and take control of the situation. But how can you take a situation and control it when you can't even control yourself? Help me understand that. Well, I'm going to keep it real. The real in there is way out of Sabby Thabatomba. You know what I'm saying? You... And Latoya is, how y'all say it, to the internet world looking dumb, looking stupid. Because everybody think y'all did this to try to get back Erica and cry. But y'all say it ain't. Y'all say we loved each other, we was together, and, and it just happened. Listen, I don't know what you and Latoya got going on. I don't even really know y'all business. All I know is you did her wrong. She did you wrong, as you say. You begging her back. She said you begging her. You beg, you, you said she's begging you back. 
Whoever begged him, just let it go. Let her move on, you move on. You gotta stop lying to yourself and trying to be somebody you're not. You gotta stop trying to live above your means. When you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Focus on what you need to focus on, and that's being a dad. You don't need no woman to be a dad. You don't need no wife to be a dad. Is it nice to have a partner that you can love and care and take care of and she love and take care of you? Yes, it is good to have a mate. But until you find that right mate, you need to find who you are as a man. You need to find who you are as a father. You need to find who you are as a businessman and leave all this stuff that you got going on in your life off of this YouTube. YouTube yeah, is good, it's fun. Sometimes it pay the bills if you got the right page, if you got the right traffic. But right now, you got neither. So what you need to do is focus on that real estate and focus on doing that Uber and focus on being an Uber food driver, whatever you got going. Focus on getting back on your feet. Focus on taking care of your household. And like I said, the most important thing, focus on being a father and leave these women alone. If she want to get a divorce, give that woman a divorce. Quit trying to fight for something that don't want you. Quit trying to fight for something that y'all can't even hold on. Quit trying to fight for something that wasn't real in the first place. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. The rigging this way. Come on now. Let's go. You lie to yourself. You keep playing games with yourself. Until you learn how to stop playing games with yourself, you're going to be stagnant, plow. You ain't going to move forward, plow. It's time to let go. It don't make you look stupid because you got married and y'all didn't really know each other, but it make you a man to let her go. It make you a man to recognize your fault. It make you a man to step away and say, baby, I'm sorry. I did wrong. Quit trying to play the blame game. Quit running to the YouTube and telling everybody your business. Because if she did want to get back with you, you done destroyed that. If she did want to get back with you, you messed that up by running to YouTube, explaining y'all business, and telling everybody what goes on in y'all frizzoli. And pillow talking with your baby mama. You messed up that chance, player. I know you want to get the money off of YouTube. I know you want to, because you, you just seen the money that Erica was getting. You just seen the money that Latoya was getting. You seen the money that Cry was getting. So you know it's possible. But you messed it up. Or should I say, y'all messed it up. Do you want your son to grow up and be weak? Do you want your son to grow up and let a woman run, a woman run all over him? Or do you want your son to grow up and bully women? Do you want your son to grow up and call women out her name, out their name? Do you want your son to grow up and disrespect women and treat women the way you treat them? Do you want your son to be like that? Or do you want your son to be a king? Do you want your son to be a leader? Do you want your son to take charge and stand on his business? Come on, pal! This is what you got to understand. This is what you got to recognize. This is what you got to put in your arsenal. It's time to move on and let it go. You had your time. Y'all had your time. It didn't right. It didn't work. You had your time. You had your moments with Erica. It didn't work. You don't have to keep sleeping with Erica. You don't have to keep being intertwined with Erica to take care of your child, baby mucker. You don't have to do that. Take care of baby mucker. Be a father with baby mucker. You ain't got to go slaying the butter pecans. Butter pecan. To be a daddy. Just be a daddy. Just be a father. Take care of your responsibility. You ain't got to intertwine with her to keep falling into her traps. You put yourself in that situation. Nobody else. Like I tell everybody in the world, the worst, worst drug in this world, it ain't heroin, it ain't meth, it ain't fentanyl, it ain't crack, it ain't weed, it ain't alcohol, it ain't popping pills. It's self. Self 
It's the worst drug on this planet. It is. Because that cocaine, the cigarettes, the heroin, the alcohol, all that. It ain't just jumping your nose. It ain't just jumping your mouth. You got it. You picked it up. You snorted it. You drunk it. You vaped it. That didn't. Self. When you learn how to control self, when you start learning how to love self, watch how life be different. When you stop lying to yourself, when you stop living in a, fan when in a, in a fantasy world and look at reality and look how you move, watch how life be different. If, if Latoya don't want you back, be your friend. Quit trying to force something that don't want you. Quit trying to force something that don't want to be bothered with you. Move on. Let her live her life. You live your life. Same with Erica. Let her live her life. You take care of baby Mucker. Be a dad to your son and your beautiful daughters. It's time out, man. Everything ain't meant for you two, like I said. All your business ain't meant for you two, like I said. If y'all want to give them a little bit of beef stew here and there, go ahead. But y'all ain't got to get personal. Y'all ain't got to try to destroy each other's reputation and destroy each other's character because at the end of the day, y'all do have jobs that have co-workers that be on YouTube and see this stuff and then they looking at y'all sideways. Even your bosses looking at you sideways because social media is everywhere and damn near everybody is on social media if they own it talking or they just watching it. They own it. So y'all destroying your own image. Y'all destroying your own character. So when y'all gonna say enough is enough and recognize that y'all are adults? Come on now, I'm gonna keep it real, the realness, way. You see, I'm not perfect. I have my faults, but I recognize my faults. I understand my faults. Just like somebody gonna say, uh, Jake Michael, he ain't got nothing to do with you. No, it don't have nothing to do with me, but I can give my opinion like everybody else in the beef stew kitchen. I can give my advice like everybody else in the YouTube streets. So what's wrong with me getting my, giving my advice? I got to be clout chasing. I got to be hating. Or I got to be putting my nose on something that, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just giving my opinion like everybody else in the YouTube streets. Come on now. Can I get it? I'm going to keep it real. The what? The millionaire's way. You see? So what I'm telling you, man... You can look at this as hating, or you can look at this as advice. I'm telling you, stop. Leave it alone. Move on. There's a lot of women out there. There's, there's somebody for everybody. There's probably another St. Bernard out there that, that's going to probably fall in love with you. Might be a Doverman pension. Who knows? But dogs do get love. Dogs do scratch their back. You see? But you gotta leave this whole circle alone. You and Latoya don't have no ties, no kids. Let her go, man. Leave this drama alone, man. Focus on becoming somebody. Focus on trying to build an empire for your children. You get what I'm saying? This just was a short little video. The last one coming, part four. J. Michael Wilder.